Thank you, Reverend Angela, for that wonderful meditation, and thank you for our healers. And now our speaker this afternoon is our favorite, Reverend David. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I got quite a topic today to talk about. Destiny. <clears throat> Do you realize that each day of your life you create destiny? Destiny is something before you. Um, and when you have a thought, that's the creation of that destiny. So from that, what I gather is that it's probably a good idea to pay attention to the choices that we make. Because those choices are also going to be your destiny. And how many times do we get upset with, with ourselves? I said ourselves, I didn't say others. Ourselves. Uh, that's paying attention to that. And that's a direction in your life. Really. You know, as, as we evolve, there's so much information within us that is to be ignited and to change. You know, and, and you know that there's a change going on in this world right now, and sometimes it doesn't seem like it is, there is a change going on, but there is. Uh, and one of the changes that, that you know is the irritations that you have. That's a change that's going on in your life. And so, are you going to pay attention to that irritation? Or are you going to pay attention to the opposite of that irritation? I choose to take, pay attention to the opposite of that. And sometimes, what in the world is the opposite of that irritation? Well, there's an all-knowing within you that lets you know what that is. And it's usually a feeling. Irritation is a feeling. And usually it's other things that are going on in your life, but what their actions are is the irritation. And and so when I found out uh, years ago that the thing I'm irritated is, is not the people that are doing the things, but myself. And so how do I go about changing that? So I, 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 I'm not going to ask the all-knowing, please give me the uh, opposite feeling. Please. <laughs> I, I'm not going to do that. I says, give me the opposite feeling. Because that's going to be, be the strongest irritation the, to be, you can't get rid of irritation by oh please go away <laughs> that just doesn't happen and so uh, it's okay to be be, be, be strong in, in talking to your creator that's in you and, um, but I also found out it's not a good idea to ask why these things are happening because then you lose the, lose the understanding that why they're happening is because you did it sometime in your life or somewhere in, in your life. You're doing exactly what the irritation is. And you know, I, 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 I was kind of fortunate to be, be born upside down and backwards and also to be a Taurus and everything. And I found out earlier, I didn't find out this out until, until the 70s, that doing things upside down and backwards was a, was a gift. And it, I, it helped me so much in my life, you know? and especially when I was trying to figure out religion. And I, I would read something uh, in, in a, one of the liter literatures of religion, and I said, well, this doesn't make any sense. You know? It's supposed to be a, 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 a positive thing to do, but to me it wasn't positive. The instructions that were given in the literatures of all religions basically are the same. Uh, basically, they want to they want to have control over you, uh, and and I don't like to have people control over me. I did six years in the army; that was enough. <laughs> and so, and, and every time I come across people trying to be in charge of me, I I say I got discharged, and now I'm no longer uh, in that, you know, and I am now free from that command. And you know, see the the little things that, that I do. Uh, is helpful to, to be free from irritations and all that, you know. And, and some of the experiences I, I had in, in the military were not very pleasant. Uh, I, I would hit people, uh, 
and sometimes that those people were higher rank than I did, and they usually didn't like that. So I, I had to go in front of a judge and, and, and accept the punishment that was going was given to me. So the first, first time I went into the military, I went in as E1, that's the lowest rank, I got out as E1. <laughs> but in the meantime, I was up to E4, and I got back down again. I found out how to do the up and down ladders and everything. So the second time I went in there, uh, I started doing the same thing. I got up to E4 and I got busted. Uh, then I got up to E5 and I said, I think I've had my, my lesson. I'm getting out of here. And so I got out. And I, I accomplished my mission. I, got, I, I ended up better than that when, I, than when I went in. And, and, and you know, coming to, to this chapel in, in 1970 uh, was uh, uh, one of the best things that had happened to me. You know? And, and like I mentioned before, these, these people in, in here were, were the boringest people I ever met, uh, but they seemed to be the happiest people I ever met. And so I, there's something, there got to be something to this, you know. And, and then I, I found out that there was, there was a lot of things in my life that I, I could create. And, and I have done some things in my life that were very positive and constructive. And I, I overcame certain things, and I overcame defeat, to become the defeater. Uh, and that took effort to do. And, and when you find yourself not feeling too good about yourself, and you think you're feeling good about yourself, that's quite a hole to be in. Um, and then when you realize, uh, I teach people to carry a 50-foot ladder with you. Uh, so when you come across with people that are in a, in, a, in a pit, you can put that ladder down there and tell them to come up. And, and, and so, I started building a, a 50 foot ladder and started climbing out. Uh, and, and I would start feeling better about myself. Uh, you know, one of the things that, that helped me, you know, is that uh, every time I would see myself, I said, oh, you're, you're a nice, pretty nice person, I like you. And then I really got brave and I started smiling at myself and saying, I love you. And, everything. And that didn't come out like it did now. It didn't come out, well, I, 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 I love, love, love you. <laughs> and I, and, and I, I got better and better at it. You know, I found out one thing is I do get better at things that I do and everything. And so the, 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 the things that I came in with that in 1970 uh, are still within me, but they don't control me anymore. Uh, and I'm always getting other ideas on what to do to improve my life and also to improve the abilities that this chapel has. And, and you know the, the, the quality that, that goes on in the teachings that we have here are continually to improve the, not only my life but also the other people who, who come here too. And so today is a, a Cinco de Mayo day for and so we're, we're, we always experience the holidays that are going on there, so I'm independent of, of, of control uh, and all of the energies that are controlling people. I am free, and I'm independent from that. And, and I, I'm also independent from some of the teachings of spiritualism has done in the past. And, there, and that's changing. And, uh, independence is changing. And, and so I, I want to let you know that you are creating destiny every day of your life. So pay attention to the, to the choices that you make, and then if you make a choice that is irritating, you don't have to stay with that choice. Make another choice and demand that you find the opposite of that, because it is in you. I bless you. <laughs>